Hello, I'm Yi Zhenggu from Tsinghua University, China. Today, I would like to introduce my research. The title is Quality Ring, Test Entry on Physical Surface Using a Ring. As the figure shows, the device is a ring with an inertial measurement unit. The surface here is any physical surface in our daily life. For example, the top of a desk or a table. The quality ring supports software quality keyboard on physical surface. The user wears the ring on the middle phoenix of the index finger. He can type on any desk-like surface as if there is a quality keyboard. The user does not see a keyboard on the physical surface. Instead, he imagines that there is a quality keyboard within the visible area of the index finger. The user touches to input characters. Long press to enter candidate selection, swipe left and right to select the desired word, and a touch up to pick it. The user deletes a word by a swipe left gesture. Quality ring enable variable test entry in many scenarios. For example, some imagined smart devices such as AR and VR headset and smart TVs do not support efficient test entry yet. Quality ring enable task-based test entry on this device, which is efficient and convenient. In a reminder of the presentation, I would like to introduce the key problems to implement the quality ring. In literature, the feasibility of typing on physical surface using a ring uh, is an exploit. We raised three research questions as follows. First, how to detect touch events on physical surface using a ring? The second question is, what is the user behavior when using quality ring and how to design the test entry decoder? The third question is, how fast can a user type with the quality ring? We conducted three user studies, each contribution contributing to answer one of the three research questions. For the first research question, how to detect touch events on physical surface, we use machine learning to solve the problem. We conduct the first study to collect users' data of touch interaction, including uh, tapping, long press, and swiping. The figure shows the IMU data. here. Here is the touchdown moment, and there is the touch-up mo moment. We find some features that are helpful to the recognition of touch effects. For example, the vertical, the vertical component of the acceleration is a good feature to detect touch-up. Based on the data analysis, we designed a SVM model to detect touchdown and touch-up events. The accuracies was not, were more than 99%. Based on the sensing of touch down and touch up, uh, we, we can recognize other touch events, uh, including long press, uh, swiping, white, by fast forward methods. For the second research question, uh, what is an optimal design for the test entry decoder? We conducted the second study to collect users' typing data. We did not have a decoding algorithm at this stage. The state system allows uh, the system always displays the correct character no matter how the participant typed. We collected user's typing pattern. There were some interesting results. For example, the figure shows the typing locations of the 26 letters. The, the keyboard in most users' mind was a fan shaped but not rect rectangle. Finally, we designed a test entry decoder according to the finding in this study. The results show that the decoder supports test entry with road suggestion. For the third research question, how fast can a user type with the quality ring? We evaluate the performance of quality rings through a five-day user study. Participants achieve a speed of 
work up work per minute in the first 40 minutes and reach 20.6 work per minute after a five days training. The results show that quality ring enable efficient touch-based test entry on physical surface. Finally, I would like to make some closing remarks for today's presentation. The quality ring supports two interaction ability on physical surface. The first ability is detecting touch events on physical surface using only a ring. The second one is to is to enable touch-based test entry on physical surface. The typing speed is about 20 words per minute. So thank you for listening. I would like to start our Q&A sections.